Shredder, are you sure you're not cold? What gives you that idea? I love the frosty sensation of the winter air. So you say. Just go into your ball, Shredder. It is pretty chilly. I'm fine, Calvin. Your leaves are going to dry up, you know. Too bad you don't have any fur like me and Papa. You have to wear that vest to stay warm. Hey, I wear it because I like it. Who says it's because I'm cold? Well, it is the reason I bought it for you. What do you suppose Masara Town will be like? It's not a giant city or anything. Just a small town located right off of Rule 1. If Dr. Otomaki recommended we go there, Okido must be pretty good. Hopefully the doctor can help us. Either way, I think it would be good if we kept our guard up. Especially after last time. We can be attacked at any moment. <clears throat> I overheard a while ago that this region's league is starting up again soon. Maybe we should sign up? That'd be awesome! Can we? Huh? This region's league? Hmm, I don't know. <sighs> Come on, Calvin. We can't let all these creeps get in the way of our dream. <sighs> if they are in the way of our dream, then we gotta mow them down. Hmm. For now, let's just get to Masara Town. <sighs> Master. Mm, but I wanna fight. I think that's it. It looks nice. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go before anything can get in our way. I think he's just eager to get warm. Arrival! Our plea. No good, huh? Do you think he's home? I don't know, but he better be. We didn't come all the way here to stand around. Come on, let's go around back to make sure. Shredder! What's the big deal? He's already expecting us. Man, he's gonna get us in trouble. Whoa! These must be the Pokémon of the trainers under the doctor. Pretty cool. country alone, all regions have their own unique indigenous Pokemon. Come to think of it, Hunter, Pikachu are native to Kanto too. Wow, really? You think we'll see other Pikachu? I'm sure. Yes! I want to fight one! Now, now, at least say hello before you do that. Ah! <laughs> get it off, get off, get off, get off! Shredder! So, what would you say is worse, Shredder? The attack yesterday, or this? <sighs> this thing is eating me alive, and you just stand around cracking stupid jokes! Ah, come on, it likes you, that's all. What the? What are you doing? I'm not a thief or anything! <laughs> he says you're an intruder! That's karma for you! You're the one who led us back here, numbskull! 
Yeah, well, when this thing's done with me, I bet it'll love chowing down on your goofy hair. <laughs> what was that? What is the boat bastard like you know about hairstyles? Plenty to know that that oily mess has gone to your head. What did he say? You heard me. Would it kill you to have a sense of humor? Kind of, yes. I use these leaves for nutrients, you know. I told you earlier it was going to get dried up in the coat anyway. <laughs> Money no coat. Let go now. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, that thing wrecked my leave. Don't stress it out anymore. Just leave it alone while it heals, okay? Wow. Dr. Otomaki wasn't kidding. You really do have talking Pokemon. Excuse me, but I can't breathe. If Fushigi Dane, it's okay. We're expecting them. <laughs> hmm? Huh? You're Calvin, the trainer who was disqualified in the Hoenn region, aren't you? Yeah. Dr. Otomaki said you were coming. So are you, Dr. Okido? <laughs> I wish, but no. My name is Kenji. I'm the doctor's assistant. Please, come inside. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Fushigidane takes it upon himself to protect and care for the other Pokémon, and Swaninoko, <laughs> well, he just loves to bite things. So, is this your first time visiting the Kanto region? I've only come to Kanto once to visit my oldest brother. I was born in Ishu, but now I live in Hoenn with my older brother. Ah, so you're an American. Only half. My mother is Japanese. My father is American. From what I heard, you're a trainer who was able to defeat eight gym leaders and qualify for the Sayu tournament, and on your very first journey, too. Not many trainers are able to pull that off starting out, but you've got the Pokémon to prove it. These are three of my seven Pokémon I've raised to earn those eight badges. Hunter, Shredder, and Shade. <laughs> and from the looks of things, you groom them quite well, especially your Garena. Usually this Pokémon is very rough and dirty, but... Your Garena's coat is so clean and shiny. Not to mention the claws are nicely sharpened and evenly clipped. Your Garena is certainly a very pretty girl. <laughs> you might want to consider Pokemon contests as well. Uh, wh what's wrong? Shades of male. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, I didn't mean anything by it. Anyway, we came here to see Dr. Okido. We need help from him as soon as possible. I... I realize that. Follow me. He should be ready to see you. Doctor, our guests are here. Ah, you're Calvin, correct? Greetings. I'm Dr. Okido. Pleased to finally meet you. How do you do? Could be better. Hello. Hello. Hmm, I see. You two really can talk. Is it just these two, or can all of your other Pokémon talk as well? I can talk too, ha! <laughs> Amazing. And without any linguistic training whatsoever, I'd presume. Your Pikachu is adorable, by the way, Calvin. It looks to be only a few months old. Yep. He's Shredder and Shade's son. That is to say, Shredder and I hatched him from an egg Master found on our journey in Hoenn. Me, Shade, and the egg fell down a deep crevice. I managed to grab the egg before we hit the water. But after that, we ended up lost in the rugged mountain pass near Mount Chimney. We found a cave to wait out an ash storm. We were stuck there for a few hours. I kept the egg warm with my fur, but we didn't know if it was going to make it. But after what seemed like forever, the ash storm finally subsided. Master found us, and a new life had been brought into the world, nestled between us. But I'm not a wimpy little Pichu anymore. I evolved really fast. <laughs> I see now. A newborn Pokemon thinks of the first beings it lays its eyes on as its parents after all. I'm very happy for you. <laughs> You've really raised a healthy boy, haven't you? 
Anyway, we came here to get help from you about these gems on Shredder and Shoot's chests, and to figure out why my Pokémon can talk. That's right. Doctor, please, can you help us? It is very strange. I wonder what it's made of. Needless to say, it's incredibly bizarre for something like this to grow out of a Pokémon's body. Well then, I have a few questions before we run any tests. Kenji? It's time to return all the Pokémon outside to their Monster Balls. After that, run an inspection on shelves G4 through J7 of the Monster Ball storage. We might be here for a while. Okay. I'll leave them with you, Doctor. Dr. Otomaki said that ever since those gems appeared, strange things have been happening to you. Care to start from the beginning? Hello? My word. So you believe someone is hunting you all? Someone possessed their Rayquaza and made it attack us. And now that someone seems to be sending assassins after us. And they have to be after us because of these gems in our chests. And after defeating the Rayquaza with their new powers. You discovered all of your Pokémon were suddenly able to speak. But it's not just Shredder and Shade, Doctor. Something strange is happening to my Younger, too. He's been using some kind of unknown power to stop the attacks from that being. Ever since the leak, he's been having nightmares and hearing voices in his head. I think it's freaking him out. Hmm, is that so? I will take a look at your Younger as well, after I run a few tests on Shredder and Shade. However, it will take some time. It's worth a shot. Hey, Hunter, why don't we do some training, huh? Oh, yeah! Let's try that Thunder Move some more! That Pikachu is quite lively. I hope he has a pair of rubber gloves. I told him it didn't hurt when he asked. But if only he saw the blood all over our chests. I swear, if I find the person who did this to us... Shredder... Doctor, please. I want you to cut them out. If we get rid of these things, then the being and those assassins will leave us all alone. Then we can all get back to our lives and be done with this mess. That very well might kill you. <laughs> if not by fatal damage to your vital organs, then perhaps by the ones who are hunting you. How can you be sure the gems alone are the reason they're after you? <laughs> Still! And do you think you would have survived that Rayquaza without them? Uh, I, uh, uh... Maybe it attacked us because of the gems. Exactly. Maybe. There's no way of knowing for sure. But that's why you're here, isn't it? To get answers? If you act recklessly about this, there's no telling what will happen. Let alone the possibility of removal surgery being fatal. <laughs> You'll have to bear with it for now. <laughs> Now then, I'm going to conduct an in-depth examination of the gems in order to discover their properties, as well as an examination of your brains and oral structures to discover how you are able to speak so suddenly. I shall do my very best to give you the answers you seek. Hey yo guys, Ruby of Blue here, and thanks for watching the video. The reason this took so long was because I wanted to give Hunter and Shade's voice actresses as much time as they needed to record for the episode. But when it was clear that they weren't going to get in their clips anytime soon, I thought it was time to replace them. Shade's old voice actress right now is in a very bad position and could use any financial support she can get. So on screen, there's a link where you can donate any amount you want to her, and it'll be in the description as well. If we can help her get back on her feet, maybe she can even come back to Manifest Heart. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I do commentaries and livestream Let's Plays on this channel as well. And if you want to help all this become my career and help me get the episodes out faster, please consider buying me a cup of coffee on Patreon. Any amount of money you want to give a month would be greatly appreciated. Have a very Merry Christmas everybody, and peace out!